and welcome to Viewpoint. I'm Volodymyr Solohub. Join me now to discuss the impact of the high-profile resignation of Ukraine's economy minister on the political situation in Ukraine is political analyst, deputy director general and director for political and legal programs of Razumkov think tank, Mr. Yuri Yakimenko. Mr. Yakimenko, welcome back to Viewpoint. Hello. Mr. Yakimenko, the high-profile resignation of um, Ukraine's economy minister and his accusation of improper uh, political pressure by one of the uh, president's uh, party MP, um, which, which shocked Ukraine last week, um, has, has, has sent a lot of shockwaves through the political circles, uh, both Ukraine in Ukraine and, and abroad. What is your take on that? Uh, you know, if you look to, to the last year or two, uh, we've just recall a lot of, uh, of similar events, uh, like accusations, declarations, resignations of some ministers, and so on. But this year, it was uh, really the first, uh, the first event of this range. And uh, because of uh, turbular situation in the political sphere at all, of course, uh, it is linked to high personalities like president, like prime minister, and to the destiny of this government and this parliament at all. Uh, so we just have make a conclusion that nothing new, it's just declaration and accusation, but, uh, but, but so as before, all the previous, no, yeah, no but proofs, all the previous yes. resignations, all the previous resignations of Ukraine's ministers, they did not have uh, such an effect as, as, as this one had. Uh, probably because of the moment. Uh, uh, again, uh, in December, we just uh, can recall the uh, report of Prime Minister Arsenia Tsinyuk in Verkhovna Rada. And a lot of persons uh, in political spheres just expect that uh, the following step will be resignation of this cabinet of ministers. Uh, but now we have a temporary uh, period of stability in government, relative stability, and now we have a new destabilizing factor, like resignation of Mr. Abramovich's. Because of that and because of... Uh, uh, the future on the 16th of February, uh, a new report of this government in Verkhovna Rada. We expect that it may have a more serious consequences. By more serious consequences, are you referring to uh, the vote of no confidence? Uh, it may be, and uh, it may follow with the dismissal of this uh, parliament and the new elections. And this is all happening uh, because of the statement of, of the minister, minister's resignation. Or w so, what are the what are the preconditions for, for the uh, resignation of the, for, for the dismissal of the parliament? Yes, the problem is uh, that this uh, government, this cabinet of ministers, have a lack of support of this parliamentary coalition. In fact, we have no acting parliamentary coalition. We have a group of factions that are formally together, but in fact, uh, the part of them demands the resignation of this cabinet. The part of them personally don't see Arsenia Yatsenyuk as a new prime minister and would like to see themselves there on those positions. And uh, at all, we have a very serious, uh, I can't say political, but parliamentary crisis now. And the, the main feature of this uh, is a lack of... Uh, proper uh, parliamentary support to governmental initiatives. Well, when you are saying that you see the parliamentary crisis, it isn't it also a government crisis because you just said that uh, the parliament might dismiss the government, then the parliament might be dismissed, uh, might dismiss <laughs> him, it, itself. So w w what happens? Yes. So uh, what, what, what here is, what we is have, a, have a, a link of possible events. If uh, we have a dismissal of this government, we uh, just have, according to the Constitution, uh, the demand for shaping a new coalition and a new government. But in a way, like some parliamentary factions see a future government, uh, it may be impossible to form any, any coalition in those uh, Verkhovna Rada. And then we have a calculation of time for president to dismiss, to dissolve this uh, parliament and to appoint a new early parliamentary elections if you won't have a coalition in the proper time. So, um, in your opinion, if the parliament dismisses uh, the, 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 the government, and by the way, what are the chances that this happens? You know, I, I just uh, can say that uh, in my mind it's 50-50. 
then uh, in one option that uh, this uh, government will be reshaped without resignation, that only some persons uh, will be changed there, and Arseny Yatsenyuk still remains the prime minister. But another option is complete dismissal, uh, resignation of this government, and with the following event uh, that I told before. What, but, um, Mr. Yanko, what kind of message does that send both to Ukrainians and to Ukraine's partners abroad that uh, Ukraine cannot have a, a, a long-lasting parliament. Ukraine cannot have a long-lasting government. Uh, for Ukraine, it's very, a very serious and very complicated situations that may appear uh, if the things will happen like, like I told before. Uh, because, uh, in fact, we won't have uh, for half a month uh, completely an effective governmental system. Half a year? Half, half a year, half a year, six months, yeah. Uh, we won't have a, a parliament at all because we, we will have an electoral campaign. Then we won't have a full-strength government. And, uh, in fact, the reforms uh, can stop under these conditions. And the second, that uh, Ukraine uh, can, fulfill, uh, can, can be able to fulfill commitments uh, according to agreements with international uh, financial institutions. It also will cause a serious problem for Ukraine. So what is uh, needed for this moment is uh, just find uh, some, some solution of this problem that not to reshape drastically all the governmental institutions. In to, your to opinion, leave there. what could be that solution? Uh, I a, lot know people, that a lot of people are saying that they would like to see uh, Mr. Saakashvili as the prime minister. Do you think this is a viable option? Uh, I can say that a lot of people can uh, support Mr. Saakashvili because uh, I think uh, it Obviously, the presidential, obviously the presidential fraction uh, will support him because he's close to the president. Uh, theoretically, it may happen, but uh, on the other side, we have a constitutional model when the biggest parliamentary or just coalition in Verkhovna Rada will propose to the president the nominee for the position of prime minister. And if we don't have any coalition, so respectfully, we don't have any person who will be appointed. Theoretically, uh, just we uh, can think about Mr. Saakashvili or Ms. Yaresko in this position or some other politician, but uh, I think on the present condition it's really uh, impossible uh, for, for the present moment. So, Mr. Ivanenko, if, if not talking about the dismissal of the parliament and the dismissal of the government, what is the way out of this crisis? The way out is to continue a conversation between, between the coalitional factions. I uh, know that today they will proceed with that. Uh, tomorrow uh, they were, there were no, no results and no compromise. And just to, to look into this compromise, compromise around, first of all, around the policy of the new government and uh, around the steps that this government together with parliament will perform in order to perform reforms in Ukraine. It's, it's, a main, it's a main problem, because lots of our politicians and uh, parliamentary factions are speaking about personalities, political leaders. They are ruled by their sympathies and antipathies, but not uh, speak about the programs, uh, concrete steps that to be done uh, in order to proceed with those with reforms at all. Mr. Remke, if you allow to go back to my question, uh, what does this crisis, what kind of message this crisis sends to Ukraine's international partners? Uh, the message is that uh, the situation is in Ukraine is uh, is a very complicated in different in different aspects. First of all, we have a not mature enough uh, political system. We have not institutionalized political parties. Uh, we have a serious lack of responsible politicians. And we have serious challenges, both uh, military, political, economical, and so on and so forth. And under these conditions, I think that uh, the role of international community influence to Ukraine, to Ukrainian politics, is very and very important. Because it may be uh, the most important factor that stabilize this political situation. Because uh, I'm afraid that our internal possibilities are ex exhausted 
already. Yeah. Well, it looks like a lot of uh, serious uh, problems with Ukraine's uh, politicians. Mr. Remenko, many thanks for joining us today. We were discussing the political fallout of the Ukraine's economy minister's resignation with political analyst Mr. Yuri Yakimenko. I'm Vladimir Salhub. Thank you for watching Viewpoint.